All right, so now we're going to move into uh, really one of my uh, favorite uh, sessions of the night because uh, this is where I get to uh, kick back and learn a bit as well too. So I'd like to introduce you to uh, Scott Bywater who's uh, waiting in the wings there. Uh, he is a uh, marketing strategist, a copywriter, uh, and he's been working behind the scenes with some of Australia's leading companies uh, for about 16 years. So some of them we, you will have heard of, uh, companies like uh, Knowledge Source, Jim's Mowing, uh, Ray White, uh, Body Trim, uh, Lang and Simmons, and there's a whole heap of them. Uh, and he covers about 124 different industries. So some of his highlights uh, of his career are he's developed an email product launch, listen to this, a product launch that's generated over $470,000 in revenue in uh, seven days. So who'd like a launch like that there? Uh, he's also helped uh, a leading Australian brand. So this would be a well-known brand that, uh, that you'll know as well, go from zero to uh, $30 million uh, in sales on, uh, on his work. Uh, and he's also the man behind uh, the creative that put thousands of people into uh, uh, events right across the country and has generated uh, tens of millions uh, of dollars in sales. So today, uh, Scott Bywater is here and he's uh, here to show you how to turn random visitors on your website into leads and clients. So let's put our hands together and welcome Scott Bywater. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate the, uh, the the warm introduction, and uh, I yeah got some really good tips from the uh, technology tips to to explore tomorrow. So, um, so what, what I'm going to be covering today is really looking at um, how to structure your website to get the best conversion rate when people visit. And this is really important because whether you're advertising on Google AdWords, whether you're advertising on Facebook, whether you're advertising on SEO, you're gonna spend the same amount for those ads, whether it converts or whether it fails to convert. It'll be exactly the same cost, the overall cost, regardless. So that's why you know, it, it's, um, it's really wise to pay attention to the copy. And we're going to be talking about you know, really the, the two big problems that you're going to be facing. Because problem number one is which pages do you need, right? Like it's like, and I'm sure you know, being in the web design business, Nick, you know this, it's like, you know, it's like this whole thing of brainstorming. What pages do I need? to actually get the best conversion and how do I structure all of that? And, uh, and, and problem number two is how much content do I actually put on each page? And I'm going to be sharing some real examples today. And I also encourage you, if you've got questions, to yeah, drop, them into the, um, you know, drop them into the feed and I'll answer them as I, yeah, as I go through everything, um, everything today. So, um, yeah. So, and, and here's the thing, there's the easy way and the hard way with, web, you know, with, with getting the, your copy right for the website. The hard way is similar, to, think of it like if you're building a house, right? If you build a house and you don't go to an architect first, the whole thing is like an absolute mess. Do you know what I mean? Like the, the building just comes in, starts laying bricks and it's just chaos. So that's a hard way. The easy way is really getting clear on the structure and the strategy first so that you can really, so that you can yeah, get, get, the, yeah, get the best result and, and turn those visitors into, into clients. And that comes down to having a really solid wireframe or design in place. And that's what I want you to walk away with today is a really solid structure of what is my wireframe? What is my design? And even if you've, currently got a website, how, you, how can you restructure it? What pages can you add? What can you add to your homepage? That sort of thing to get a better result from the visitors who are currently, you know, currently coming to your website. Um, and, and to do this, a hand-drawn mock-up is, is really powerful as a starting point. So what I would encourage everyone to do is just grab your you know, grab a, you know, a pen and paper if you don't have one already and just, you know, get ready to like brainstorm as you're going through this process. Um, so it doesn't have to be all done professionally. Just back of a napkin sort of style is, uh, yeah, is absolutely, yeah, is absolutely fine for this process. 
So um, I'm going to talk primarily about coaching, consulting service businesses, because that's that's who I'm guessing just from, from what I've heard so far, who's in the room today. But th these strategies will apply across the board. But let's, let's look at this from a coaching, consulting and service business perspective. Okay, so the non-negotiables are your About Us page, your home page, your programs or your co you know, or coaching or services page, and your contact us page. So they're like the four pillars, if you like, the four pillars of a of a chair. They're the ones that really need to be in any you know, in any website and need to be in place in any website. The negotiables, you got your book. If you've got a book, add that in there. Podcast. If you've got success stories and testimonials and that sort of thing, if you've got a blog, um, resources, if you've got a shop, if you're in, um, you know, you might sell some, you know, t-shirts or even if you're a retail shop, obviously you need to have, um, you know, a shop area, tools, a meet the team and the Facebook group. So these don't need to be in place for everyone, but they are things that, you know, that you might like to include and incorporate into your wireframe. Okay, so, so my questions to you is, what assets do you have as at, at present? What assets do you have? Um, and just take a moment, just a, you know, just a minute or so right now, I'll stop talking and just write down what assets you have that you can incorporate into your website. So, so assets can be, you've got testimonials and they're sitting on a hard drive somewhere. You got them ages ago, they're not on your website. Maybe you've got a podcast, you haven't integrated that on your website. Um, maybe you've got a special report and you haven't put that in a download link to that on your website. Uh, perhaps you've got case studies and they're not on your website. So really make a list of, you know, what are all your assets? What are all the things that if you put them on the website would encourage your customers to trust you more, prospective customers to trust you more and, you know, to buy from you? Does anyone want to put their hand up and sort of say what, what assets they, they actually have? Or, or drop it into the notes. We've got Jeff saying ebooks give value. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And we'll be giving some some real time examples of that shortly. Um, an email list is a must for leads. Absolutely agree. Sonia said blog. Yep, perfect. It's adding the blog in there so people can see what you're about. Uh, Mandy's put client testimonials. Excellent. Very important from a proof element. We'll be showing some some examples of that of that shortly. Uh, Nick, video of speaking. Yep, excellent. So, um, got a fiction novel. I'll cover up whether I do the two. Selena's just just asking about her novel. I'll come back to that. Um, I'll come back to that one at the end. Um, case studies, reviews. Nick said yes, absolutely. I'm sure. I'm sure Scott Baker would agree with that one. Um, so, <laughs> so, so we've got. Uh, that's that's excellent. So. So let's let's take a look. Okay, so first we've got the home page. Now the way to look at the home page is like a spider web, right? Like generally the home page is not where you send your Google traffic to. You know, if you're advertising on Google AdWords, uh, let's say you're a coach and you're advertising for, I don't know, um, uh, like we had here. Yeah, you know, energy alchemy coaching, as an example, which we heard we heard before, or energy coaching. You would send that to a specific page. You generally wouldn't send it to your home page. Um, like a plumber is going to send someone different if they're looking for someone to fix a leaky tap versus if they want someone to fix their toilet, right? Because the specificity, the specificity is key. So the aim of the home page is a little bit like a spider web where you're capturing everything and you're sending it in a certain direction. 
Um, the other way to look at a homepage is almost like, you know, when you walk into Bunnings, for example, and you go in and you, you talk to the person out front, they've got someone out front, and you go, I'm looking for a spade, and she'll go, go to aisle 23. And, or you'll say, I'm looking for a bucket, and they'll go, go to aisle 45, or, or some lights, and I'll say, go to aisle 63, or whatever, whatever that is, they'll send you to a very specific place. That's the job of the homepage. So let's let's look at how this all incorporates in here nicely. Okay, so the way you wanna be thinking about this is in blocks, right? So being thinking in blocks, so you think of blocks of copy, whether it's on your homepage or any page, is how am I gonna break this out in blocks of copy? And they're nice, that way it's nice and easy to add to your you know, add to your page and give structure to your web designer and to your writer so they know exactly what you're actually looking for and what the what the framework is with each part. So like we talked about the architecture before, these blocks are really powerful for that. And the most important block of all is this one, the one which you know is is like the checkmate block if you like is what is above the fold. So above the fold of your homepage is a really, really critical piece of real estate. If we're looking at real estate, above the fold is like the, you know, the million dollar piece of real estate, if you like, which you really need to get spot on. So let's look at some examples of above the fold. So this is um, James, James Schramko, incredible marketer. I'm sure many of you have, have heard of James. So if you look at what James got, has done here, it's, it's really, really effective and can be modeled for many businesses. So he's got, he's got the headline. Um, let, let, let me go in, in a bit deeper than this and then get to the core message here because there's a couple of le lessons here. Um, but you've looked here, grow your business super fast without working nights and weekends, okay? That's a very, very, very effective headline because what, it, what it's doing is it's offering a very clear benefit without the objection. So what I'd encourage you to do, and I'm not saying this is definitely the above the fold headline for you, um, but just think about how you could use that headline for your business and maybe just drop it in the comments so we can all learn from each other. So for example, Let's say in the, um, you know, we had the example of the DJ, right? So it might be have an amazing night without the hassle of taking care of everything yourself. Um, that, that sort of thing. So you want to look at what is that biggest pain point for your potential customer? Maybe just drop that in the, drop that in the chat, the biggest pain point, the thing that your customers just absolutely hate. Like in this case, it's without working nights and weekends. Um, it, it may be different for you. Then, then, what, then what he's got there is, um, is credibility, right? This is who I am. This is what I've done. This is how many businesses I've, held, I've helped. Half of them earn over $3 million a year and 30% earn at least in, the, in his community earn at least six figures. So it's really strong. It leads with credibility, leads with credibility. So it's very, very powerful um, from that, you know, from that perspective. Um, so, and then this line is really powerful. There are four ways I can help you earn more while working less. Which would you like help with? Okay, so who here has more than one service or more than one way that they can help their clients? Most people, right? So, so make a list of what those ways are, and look at how you can. Remember, I said I said earlier, you want to, You're like a. You're like the person at the front of Bunnings, and you're directing traffic. So that page, you're saying, I'm credible, I'm unique. Here's how I can help you. Here's how I can take your pain away, and here's where you should go specifically for my for my help. Um, so. Uh, you know, so, so Jeff's got caterer, all the food you can eat or you don't pay. Um, the other thing with catering, um, Jeff, is, is yours could, let's say, let's say finger food, you know, catering 
you know, for restaurants, catering for parties, catering so you can go into those specialties. Um, and Jeff, if you ever talk to him, he's very good at, because um, Jeff and I have known each other for a while, very good at like niching into specific markets. Um, so this is a way that you can do that on the um on the on the home page and jeff said he's done that with 100 sites so he's a he's sort of like a master at, at, at niching um if you like so so um then we've got get content okay mandy said get content that converts without spending hours trying to find the right words yeah i like it i like it you know like like because people are yeah, that they're they're confused about how to do it, how to pull it all together, all of that sort of thing. So I think that that's quite quite effective. Then we've got uh, Jane said, "I have four words and four images that are inspired by how you feel when they do some painting or drawing." Not sure if it's effective though. Quite new. I, I was talking to someone about painting recently, and let's say I'm not sure exactly exactly what you do, Jane, but um, they were like teaching art. And I said, I said, come from a, from a different lens. You're teaching art. So people who are learning art, they're not just doing it to learn art. They're doing it for mental health. They're doing it for, you know, for maybe a emotional renewal. Maybe it's for their kids so that they can feel better at themselves and, and um, or, or teenagers. There may be many different elements to that. So at the end of that, you could have, why do you want to learn art? And they and, and if you know four reasons, they can click on them. Now, how do you find out what these four reasons are? Right, is a good question. Yeah. So one of the best ways that I've found is um, and uh, and if you send me an email to this afterwards, I can I can send this to you. But it's a it's a survey that you can send out to your you know to your tribe. Right. And if you send this survey out and you ask them about the frustrations and there's there's six or seven questions that you can ask them. Right. What questions they have for you, that sort of thing. You'll be able to identify down to a science what these four boxes should say. Do you know what I mean? You'll be able to identify down to a science what these four boxes you say, not by guessing, but by knowing. Because Robert, one of the things that Rob, Robert Collier said, and he was one of the greatest copywriters like, you know, on the planet um you know in his time and he said this the whole secret is to enter the conversation going on in your customer's mind so the secret to success is to enter the conversation going on in your customer's mind and that's that's probably a writer downer because if you do that and you hit them between the eyeballs with your headline then you establish credibility and then you send them in a specific direction, it's very, very powerful. But this isn't the only way you can open, right? It's one way, like getting to Ayers Rock. You can fly, you can, you can drive, you can walk, you can take a helicopter. There's lots of ways you can get there. It's not the only way. So let's look at some others. Okay, here's another one. So Chris Ducker, well-known entrepreneur. Um, what he's got, which is what uh, Jeff Veal was alluding to earlier, was the whole concept of um, you know, of the free ebook, right? So it just goes straight for the ebook. E this is what I do. You know, grab my personal branding roadmap, bang, download the free ebook. Very powerful if you're looking to build your list, right? It goes straight down there, people download it, boom, you've got that, you know, that next step sort of happening. So um, Ron's just said, frustrated with your pet's anxiety behavior, not sure how to solve it. Here's a, here's a proven breakthrough to calming your pet with anxiety. Yeah, so that, if that's a big issue, that's very powerful. Do you know what I mean? Like, like that's, that's very powerful if you're hitting that lens. And that, people underestimate this, right? Because, because copy, one of the things that Gary Ben's Avenger said, and he was, a, he was a world's, he retired recently, but he was the world's greatest copywriter. And he, he used to spend 40% of his time on research 40% of his time on writing and 20% of his time on editing. So the research, like, like it's, it's, I can be the most amazing writer in the world, right? But if I write about knee pain and my customers have back pain, it's not going to work. Do you know what I mean? You can be an average writer and get a better response because you've taken the time to do the research and understand your customer 
at a really, really deep level. This is where surveys happen. This is where um, going onto Amazon and typing in pet anxiety and looking at the books that are on pet anxiety and then looking at the reviews that are on pet anxiety is really, really powerful because you go in there and you're like, you get the language, you get to understand what's going on in your target market's mind. And that is absolutely number one, is understanding deeply what happens in, inside your target market's mind. You know, what keeps them up at night? You know, what, what, what keeps them up at night? What makes them angry? What makes them frustrated? What makes them happy? You know, all of that sort of thing, you understand that and they become very easy to, um, yeah, very easy to, very easy to sell, sell to. Because it's all about the value, right? You know, you can buy a bunch of flowers that cost $30 for your wife and make her much happier than if you buy her a lawnmower, right? Because value is in the eyes of the beholder. Um, so, so it's really important to understand your target market. Um, here's another one, Belinda Smith, lovely lady. Um, and this is, this is what, what she has, is she again has gone straight to the free checklist. Um, so yeah, the, the renovation and real estate hub, learn to renovate and style like a DIY pro, create an exciting and renov renovation business or simply leave your renovation projects to the experts. And then it's like down, download your, you know, your free checklist. Um, I'd probably add, because Belinda's got a lot of credibility, I'd probably add some strong, you know, some really strong credibility and incorporate that in that first section as well. Um, but this is a really good example of you know, going into the, um, you know, going for the checklist. And you'll see she's also got this. This is another way to add credibility, which Belinda has done here, is renovation consultant, speaker, business coach, property investor. So that's quite powerful as well to put it under, you know, under your under your face because people will often look there. So um, that's you know, and here's another one. This is with a video, right? So we help women like you prepare for a thriving marriage by healing your relationship with yourself first. Very very powerful type opening. And that goes straight to a video. So then you connect with the video. And if you've got some really good videos, that's really good because it's like, oh, how are you going to do that? Bang, the natural thing from there is to click on, yeah, onto the video. And here's another one um, from my, my friend and partner, Alexi. So one of, the, one of the things that Alexi's got is he's got get leads with content hacking. Um, so up to 231 ways to get leads and clients every month. And, you know, and, and it's going straight for the let's chat. Can we help you? Click the button below and let's chat. During our chat, we may also answer questions such as, and then bang, bang, bang. So that's really good. If you want to get appointments like straight up, that's a really good way um, to, to open uh, for your, you know, for your, for your business. Um, to go in there and, and really open in a really strong way um, in that way. So um, anyone want to want to comment about um, what they're thinking of for their partic particular above the fold or what their strategy is based on this so far for about for above the fold? Yeah, if I can have a quick word, Scott. Yep. Um, my main frustration is um, when I'm doing my website, it has to cater to a mobile phone as well as a desktop. Yep. And that can change the layout of that um, above the fold. Yes. Yep. Yep. No, ab ab absolutely. Absolutely. So I would say, and I'd be interested in Nick's take on this as well, but I would say to make it, you want to make it, make sure it appeals to mobile because mm. most people these days are searching on mobile so if it doesn't approach on mobile i think you'll, you'll lose a lot of the, that particular customer customer base um so yeah what jeff's got jeff just put 60 percent plus are on mobile yeah, I think I think for, I would... for my business, um, it usually comes up as a as a um, 
on desktop when I'm looking at, say, my emails that people have opened. Um, and I can't think whether the website is predominantly, I think the website is predominantly um, desktop as well, but not by a huge amount. Probably, it's probably 60, 40 the other way for me. So it's more um, desktop, but because I have to, I'm the creator of my website, I haven't been able to get someone to do that for me yet. Um, it's always just painful to have to look at um, tablets and then phones and then desktop and make sure that it appeals like the layout in general it has to appeal to all three layouts yes yes nick, nick do you have any thoughts on that yeah i can uh, just jump in there's a couple of things there is that um uh with some modern website uh, builders these days, you can change the layout uh, depending on whether it's been viewed on desktop or uh, mobile or tablet. So, uh, and I know WordPress, uh, I know yours is not Jane, your, your Shopify, but they may have something like that as well too. Okay. But uh, you, you can change things. So you get your core message still there on both platforms, um, but you may change sort of uh, some of the imagery or um, some of the um, the ways of displaying it, the size of it, particularly size of font and all that sort of thing there. Uh, but you can't. But you can get the essential message through. And you just have to work out because mobile is smaller. You just have to work out what's your key core message that needs to be uh, top and center of on mobile, uh, and what can you sort of just drop below the fold, which is often uh, you know below what it is on a uh, desktop. But um, the differences between desktop and mobile too is that on uh, mobile, people are used to having their thumb there ready to scroll. So you need to work out what's at the top of the fold to start with and then what's just immediately below it. And one little trick is, is that you have something like a, an image or a video which is cut off. So when they view, view it on the mobile, they actually have to scroll to see the next part. So you make it compelling so, they, so that they do scroll. And you can use it with things like arrows or whatever, but certainly having things that people know that they've, they've got to scroll down. So, but you can have different layouts for both, um, uh, you know, desktop and, uh, and mobile. Is that helpful? Yeah, absolutely. And it also, where I found it that um, your Facebook um banner also has to be very similar to to your website where it sort of captures says what you want to say as well yeah no that that's um you know no i think so i think that's uh that's good any anyone else got any any thoughts on how they're going to structure their their home page opening or any questions nope it's, uh, it's good. So let's so let's let's continue on then. So we've got so the, the next thing to, we, we we talked about building in blocks earlier, and this is really important for when you're structuring and working with your designer in terms of in terms of how to structure your page. So if you think in in blocks, right? I'm going to add this block, and I'm going to add that block, and I'm going to add this block. So let's let's have a look at some potential homepage blocks, if we like. So, so the big thing is having proof on the homepage. Now, this is really, really important. Back to what Gary Benzavenger said again. He, he called it the four Ps, and it was promise. And we saw that with James's opening, right? Um, so, you know, getting clients super fast um, without, you know, working weekends. Uh, then you've got proof, problem, and proposition. Proposition basically means offer, right? So we've got promise, proof, problem, and proposition. And that's what you wanna have on your, on your website. Proof is very, very important because one of the big things that people say these days, like everyone's skeptical, right? There's so many offers, there's so much coming at them. You know, you go down your Facebook feed, you're seeing like 32 ads, um, you're getting like texts from, I don't know if you guys do, but I keep getting texts from DHL and this person saying something's arrived like six times a day. Like, so people are naturally skeptical. So when you make a claim, the big thing that people usually say is, yeah, sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that sort of thing. So you need those proof elements. That's why the proof elements are so important. We saw it with James's opening, but you, you, you need to expand on that. So here's, 
here's what you see, and, and you can go to James's page and check it out. But further down the page on the homepage, the super fast business, what you've got is, yeah, here's what high performing entrepreneurs say about James and super fast business. And then he's got all his proof credentials. You know, he's got testimonials from all these people with incredible results. And they're very, notice one thing about these sort of things. They're very specific. They're not like James is a great guy. These are the sort of results that his clients want. So it's from $4,000 a month to up to 7,000 plus a month in six months. Within three months, I created an additional $10,071 a month in income. Very, very specific. So if you're looking to get, one of the things I would encourage you to get is get, you know, go out there and get case studies, you know, from your clients. A simple way to do it, one of the easiest ways to do it is like Zoom calls like this. You're on a call, um, you know, at the end of the call, you go, you know what? Do you mind just taking a few minutes and doing a doing a quick case study? But obviously, once you've got them some results about what you've got, yep, great. Um, you know, you hit the record button and you start asking questions. And some que some questions to start with is like, you know, where were you when you, you know, before you started working with me? What happened? Where are you now? So it's like the hero's journey, right? If you look at the if you look at Star Wars or anything, you know, um, yeah, the, the hero's down. He goes through a journey and then he wins and he, he sort of he, he has a win. And this is really what we're looking for. And the reason movies are written like this and in this way is because this is essentially who we, um, you know, we connect with it, right? Because we all live that as part of our life. We're all going for our own individual hero's journey. So these are like these are like mini heroes journeys in the case studies, and if you ask these for your clients, and then what you can do is you can use a tool like um, if anyone's not using Otter, Otter.ai, Nick might have already mentioned it, one of his um, you know, one of his tools, but uh, very very powerful tool um, to use for copy. So um, particularly if you're very structured in the way that you ask your questions. Um, because then you can, you know, like, like you can get the raw materials for your copy by asking a very, a very simple question and going, okay, so what benefits do you offer for your clients, et cetera, et cetera. But you can also do it with case studies um, very powerfully like this. You can then take the video recording, put it through this, and then you can have video, but you can also tidy up the AI transcription for that. Now, to give you an idea, everyone's probably heard of Rev. Like Rev, you're going to pay a dollar a minute. Literally, Otter.ai, for most businesses, you can do it unlimited recordings. It's like an AI technology for like $100 US a year or something. Like it's, it's don't quote me on that price, but it's, it's like very, very cost efficient um, for, for most businesses. So, um, and you won't, it won't stop you from just transcribing everything. Whereas Rev, yeah, if you're going to do a thousand hours a month, you're, you're probably going to think about, you know, how much you're going to get transcribed. So here's another example of a proof element. I consider Chris Ducker to be one of the top experts when it comes to virtual business management. And then it's it's like from a best-selling author, right? So if you've got people who are credible, who are famous in your niche for whatever reason, they don't have to be like Hollywood famous, but let's say you're you know, you're a marketer for restaurants in Sydney and you've got a really well-known Sydney restaurant as a client, you want to use that as a feature testimonial, right? So, and there's another strategy where you can make clients like that a really good offer just to get them on board as a testimonial because if there's anything, you know, we, we, we've seen recently is that social proof is incredibly powerful. Social proof is incredibly powerful, and very often it's far more powerful than logic. So, if we go to here, we're seeing here more social proof. So this again is from um, yeah, is, is some of our writers actually have written for um, you know Forbes, Time, Reader's Digest, National Geographic. So you see that, and because they're like big name big name brands. There's a lot of trust 
which is you know which is then um, leveraged as a result of that. Um, so if you've worked with big name brands or you've got people who've worked with with within your team who've worked with big name brands, this can be very very powerful to incorporate into your you know into your uh, into your web copy. And, and here's another one, John Gian from from Knowledge Source. Um, and this is a this is a testimonial for um, Fubi, which is a um, we're a subsidiary of of, of Fubi, and uh, yeah, my company is one of the top hundred biggest advertisers on Facebook. Yeah, we spent uh, we spent upwards of one million dollars a month. Uh, Alexi and the Fubi's team viewpoint on content strategy, copywriting funnels are the most most valued of of any I consider. So you can see very powerful when it when it comes from someone who's respected in a particular particular niche and it lends instant credibility and overcomes that yes yeah, sure response um so you, so the question you should have in your head when you write the facebook ad when you write not the facebook ad when you write the website is how do i overcome the yes yeah, sure response how do i overcome that skepticism that skepticism and what i would encourage you to do even while you're on this call is just think about your website and just go, does it overcome the yes, yeah, sure response? Or what specifically, and, and important to write this down now, right? Because you get off this call, you get busy, you're off doing things. What specifically can you do? What could you add there now to overcome the yes, yeah, sure response? Yeah, who could you reach out to? And put timelines to it. You know, okay, I've got like five people I can reach out to for case studies in the next three weeks. And um, yeah, and make an effort to then reach out to them and get those case studies so that you can incorporate that onto your website. Because that's one of the things we always, I've I no business owners for a long time. That's the one thing we always put off, right? It's like, oh, you know, it feels like hard work and you got to reach out to people and you're worried about how they're going to react and all that sort of thing. But very, very powerful from a proof um, and social proof sort of credibility yeah, point. point. Um, next one, your book or your checklist or your free report or your webinar. So let's look, let's see an example of how to incorporate this in the um, yeah in the on the homepage. Work less, make more. My number one bestseller on Amazon shows you a counterintuitive way to build a profitable business. So this this again is um, yeah is is James Schramko. You'll see here these credit these credibility things here as seen in. Entrepreneur, Huffington Post, etc. Um, so, so the credibility things here. Picture of the hard copy book, very powerful. People can then go and buy it now. And what do you think happens when they buy it? Like, so there's this book. There's this book called They Ask You Answer, right? And the guy sold swimming. He tells a story. He sold swimming pools. And what he found was when he was um, when he was selling swimming pools, the average conversion rate in the industry was 10%. So that was that was the average conversion rate. If you went to a sales meeting, you're gonna convert at 10%. Does anyone put in the chat what you think it was, what you think the conversion rate went up to, because he was tracking it through HubSpot and this was based on blog posts, but the same concepts apply whether it's emails or book, whatever. So what do you think the conversion rate was if they'd absorbed 30 or more pieces of content before the sales meeting? I'll wait a few seconds while people put their um, put their thoughts into the thing. Say so this is ten percent at nothing. What is it if they'd absorbed thirty or more pieces of content before the sales meeting? We got eighty five percent. We got seventy percent from Jeff. Eighty five percent from Scott. Fifty percent from Peter. Sixty percent from Kerry. Ninety eight percent from Jane. Jay, 65%, Al, right up there, and Jacqueline Price. Jacqueline Price nails it. <laughs> so it was 80% um, if that absorb 30 or more pieces of content. So you can see that's massive, right? It's really, really, it's really, really massive. Um, so if you can get them to read your book, similar thing applies. You have massive credibility. I, I, I um, which I'll be giving away as a as a lucky door prize shortly. But I, I spoke with a guy recently, and he got referred to me by two people on the same day. Plus, he read my book like you know back in the dark ages, sometimes like twenty years ago or something. Um, that when he read it, 
And he was just like, yeah, he was sold. It wasn't, it was a very easy, very easy sale, right? It wasn't my sales skills that sold him. It was all the credibility which led up to that from reading the book uh, or reading the manual. So um, here's another example of the book. Um, yeah, the, the content hacking book um, from Alexi, how companies are achieving explosive growth with content. And you'll see here all the credibility, right? How we generated $24 million in sales from one article how we create dozens of content pieces in 25 minutes per week, how an e-commerce company and our client use content to get a 19.35 return on, on Facebook. So you see how powerful that is when it, with, that, with that credibility and those little hooks. Uh, and the thing to remember here, this is just a copywriting tip with everything that you're doing, is, um, is all of these bullets, what do they have in common? They've got curiosity, right? You got to buy the book to work out what they've got in got in common. And um, there's one word actually that develops more credibility, more curiosity than any other word. I, I've actually written um, subject lines for a, a a client called Macola in the in the United States, and they've got a list of like I don't know two million people or something. And um, I've been writing subject lines for them for I think fifteen. 15 years, about 15 years, and being and seen like thousands of split test results and all that sort of thing. Um, but there's one word which I found by chance, and then I also found it in like some of the Buzz Sumo research, which develops more curiosity than anything I've, I've seen. So I'm going to reveal that four letter word towards the you know, towards the end um, of the uh, of this call. So and again, what I'm doing now is I'm creating curiosity which is also creating an open loop, right? Which is another copywriting tip. So you always wanna be looking at how do I create curiosity? How do I create open loops um, with, everything that I, with everything that I'm doing? So that everything that you're doing is like a slippery slide, right? Once you get on, you don't wanna get off, you know? Because it's like, it's like, if you ever watch those TV shows, the really good ones, they always end on a cliffhanger. And you're like, oh my God, what's, what's next? You know what I mean? What's coming next? So, so if I was Nick at the end of this call, well, what I would be doing is I'd be saying, okay, next month or next week, we're going to be having you know, this person speak and they're going to show you, you know, the, you know, the, the, the number one hack for, you know, how to get the top of the SEO or whatever, whatever that speaker's speak is about, because it makes you then want to come back, right? So we want to be doing this all throughout all throughout our copy. So, uh, and that's what all the TV show do, all the morning shows do, all of that sort of thing. You know, come, come back after the break and we'll show you a purple dog or something. It's like, I need to see that purple dog, you know? It's like, it's like, so, um, so there's another example for a book. Uh, another example, this is for a guide. Um, again, you know, free research guide, download it now. Um, Five-step heart attack guide, you know, five-step heart hack guide. Uh, so you'll see you'll see the word hack um, is quite popular at the moment, uh, and it's a bit edgy. So good one to use in your yeah you know, in your copy. Um, your podcast on the homepage. So what is a if you got a podcast? What could a potential promotion for a podcast look like on your homepage? Here's here's one from James again. The Supervast Business Podcast covers everything you need to grow your online business, including etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Guest interviews. Subscribe now away you go so there's a there's an example of a, of a podcast on your on your home page which again is like a book you get people to consume the content by the time they reach out to you they're far more likely to buy um, your blog on the home page here's one from alexi four times per week our founder um you know, crafts a highly insightful memo uh, can also cover anything he's thinking about in life sales or even life check them out and you can go there and you can check out the blog so it's encouraging you absorb more content, you absorb more content by the time you're ready to buy, you're, because we all buy differently these days, right? We all buy very, very differently before you'd reach out to a salespeople, like salesperson pre-internet, and you would talk to them and, and they would do all the selling. Now you've made up your mind sort of 80% before you even get to that sales call. So if you've got good content you can send people to, it's really, really powerful. Okay, so your profile on the homepage is his, his um, who is Chris Ducker. So there's like a bio 
and then you can go and learn more about him. As you'll see down here, as featured in Entrepreneur, Forbes, Success, Inc., etc. cetera. Um, you know, so that's, a, that's an example of that. And here's one from James. So you see here, very powerful, the credibility. Um, built and sold a seven figures SEO business within three years, sold 10 million of my own products and service, was the number one Mercedes salesperson in Australia. And then sort of and then sort of goes into things, um, you know, goes in for, into things from there. So um, so profile, very important. Um, here's one from Chris Ducker again. Yeah, um, going into it. And here's one from Belinda Smith, which breaks it down. Um, yeah, and here's where the credibility, you know, 30 plus years of property investment experience, taught over 500 private students and 45,000 online followers, um, goes into her, like her background and where she's been featured. So all of this credibility with Sky News, Real Estate Institute Magazine, Bunnings Magazine, et cetera, et cetera, which provides that, you know, that real credibility um, credibility there. So the other thing to do, which can work quite well, is if you've got a hero's journey. So recently, I've been speaking with someone in the or doing some work for someone in the in the um, debt. So that they they reverse bad credit ratings. So they're, they're lawyers who reverse bad credit ratings, and he just has an incredible story of what happens to him. Um, so I'm like, we need to use that story more because when you share your why, that's very powerful. As Simon Sinek says. People don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. Um, now, okay, so next, what do you do? Who do you do it for? And the problem you solve. Um, so this one's a nice one. Yeah, these are, these are the people we do it for. Podcasters, coaches, and services. So this is from Fubi. This is the, um, yeah, this is who we work with. Bang, bang, bang. And this is what we can do for you. Boom, learn more. So again, this is very much like the going into Bunnings. And being directed into the right, yeah, into the right area. Um, here's another example, yeah, of of directing people. You know, do the do the free online training, ten day re rejection, uh, ten day rejection detox, or you know, explore our coaching program. Here's another one. Um, this is this is another block for the yeah the webinar. Yeah, sending people into a webinar. Um, you know, talk about the free online training, view webinar details. And webinars is one of the best ways to, you know, to gain conversions because you can gain people's attention for a fixed period of time. Um, again, we're seeing that, seeing this again with James, you know, in terms of you know, what do you need help for? What are your four issues? Focus them on that, yeah, you know, in that direction. Um, so so, so let's look at your coaching program or services pages. Let's look at some examples of that. Um, so because along with your homepage, this is where a lot of the heavy lifting is done. So here we've got Chris. One of the most important things I've done in my career when it comes to growing faster and getting more done is working with coaches and mentors. Um, and then it, it sort of goes into, yeah, this is, this, is how I can, this is how I can help you. This is your next step. Yeah. Another another block the 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 incubator um, monthly online coaching quarterly virtual full day mastermind events and then talks about his you know his mastermind and the the things that he does. Here we've got um, you know eighty eight plus repurposed content pieces from one webinar or Facebook Live. So this is this is Fubi showing how you can cut up webinars into all sorts of you know all sorts of content pieces so this goes on there on their services page another one is join your community right so an example here from from um, belinda is we've got you know become part of our red community um, you get the latest news now this is really powerful i would hesitate to use it i know belinda's got a good follow-up process to get people into her Facebook group and then she builds relationships. So if you're going to do this, just make sure that you've got the funnel to follow it up. Um, work out where your funnel is going to be and then base it off that, whether it's um, you know, going to be your Facebook group, your email list, that sort of thing. Okay, let's have a look at the About Us page. So here's one from James, um, Superfast Business, 
you know, the online business, they get plenty more profit while working a lot less. Um, and it sort of goes into follow us on. This is what I really like. Um, if, you, if you're not doing this, it's a, it's a real fun process to go through this where you actually go through your journey over the years. And if you go to um, our website, webcopygurus.com and go to our About Us page, you'll actually see my journey. Um, but, you know, it's like 2005, I registered my first domain name. 2006, you know, I taught myself to do this. And you sort of get to experience the journey and you let people into your world, if you like. And when I went through this, it was like, it was like going back in time, right? You're trying to remember what did I do back in 2005 and sort of bring it back. So it's quite an interesting um, experience to go through it for your, you know, for yourself as well. And, and it lets your clients really in, you know, so you see here 2007, 2008, what did I do? What happened, et cetera, et cetera. Here's another way, um, our journey so far. Um, so, yeah, really telling your, yeah, telling your story, letting people in. Like, like this is a really good thing to do in your first couple of emails too, known as um, welcome mat or indoctrination emails, is you share your story, you build that connection. Um, so very powerful. It, share your why, because people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. Um, here's another one about us. This is a bit more of a, you know, a professional from Fubi, um, you know, and it goes through and, and, but again, you'll see the credibility. Uh, and then you'll see the hero journey. journey. Um, things became crazy. Yeah, we we're dealing with this and then, and then sort of goes into it from there. So you're seeing the commonality of it done in different ways. Okay, your, your book page. So let's go for, through some examples of different pages. So here's one from Chris Ducker um, with, it, with his book. You know, and again, you're gonna see the, the, the credibility, the testimonials, all that sort of thing from Michael Hyatt, who's a big name. And it sort of goes through that. You see the number one bestseller here, um, et cetera, et cetera. Your podcast page. So here's an example of the, of the content hacking podcast. Uh, and it goes in there and again, you get people to absorb the copy, the content, and you get a far, you know, a far better result. Um, your blog, so th there's an example of, of a blog. Really important, you get the headlines right on your blogs. Make them curiosity, make them exciting, make them stuff people want to open and, and find out, you know, find out about. So it's like anything, the headline and the first two, two lines is really, really important and um yeah and and critical um so yeah getting it getting the now let's look at getting the layout right for the yeah for the writer so you can go to somewhere like studio one design and they will basically you know they take care of the design for you you can go to someone like nick who will take care of the um you know building all the website for you all of that sort of thing um so there's different options or you can google wordpress themes do you know what I mean? So you can Google WordPress themes and go, I really like that structure um, as to how it's actually, you know, how it's actually done. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna use that as a, you know, as a form, you know, as a format. Um, and then and then it's like building it out, right? What are all the sections? So this is a, an example. What are all the sections that you're gonna have in your website? Do you know what I mean? What are they, what are they gonna be? And by, and by now. Should have been just jotting them down and sort of building a bit of a framework for yourself so you know if you if you've got a website what changes and additions you need to make or if you don't what you need to what you need to take out um so from here if you you know if you do need help with it i'll just take you through um just just a little bit about what we do in terms of the way we approach things so we've got a we've got a business called web copy gurus um, which we set up because we just saw this big gap in the market where people had, they didn't really know where to go from web copy. And often the web designers like, the client doesn't want to do it. Um, the, the, the web designer doesn't really want to do it. So we saw this sort of gap in the market, which really needed sort of help with. So what we do is, you know, basically we've got a team. So, um, you know, if you like within seven days, we'll basically get your copy ready um we need to uh obviously the first stage is getting really set on the infrastructure right so it all runs really smoothly um yeah unlimited resistions we've got 45 years combined experience um both alexi and i and uh yeah we do it for all 
all industries. It's SEO optimized. It's 100% unique. We run it through um, checkers to, to make sure that everything's unique. Uh, top shelf writers and guaranteed satisfaction. And um, yeah, and we've got writers who've written for you know, all of these big names. Um, you can see my own strategies, which I'm talking about. I, I um, yeah, we live and breathe them. So basically, if you did want to do something like this with us, and and I'm going to make a very special offer at the end of end of tonight. Yeah, we, we go for a discovery call. We do some. Um, we basically uh, you know work with you SEO keywords, and you can choose your you know exactly what SEO keywords you want. We make sure our writers write you know based on those keywords. Um, we do a deep dive into how you sell. We do the writing. We check it. We sign it off, and then it's done. So it all happens quite quickly. Um, and yeah, some of the copy coming out of there is um, is just exceptional. So, and the offer for tonight, if you're if you're interested, is um, you know you'll save twenty percent off our prices if you go to webcopygurus.com and just look at the Australian prices. You'll see that. Um, but don't put, don't go directly to webcopygurus.com. Nick, do you have the um, the affiliate links there by any chance? Well, I think I've got them. Let me just drop them into the. Um... Yeah, well, the team will drop them, and I think JM or uh, Lorena has got them to drop them to chat. Oh, there you go. You've got them. Yeah, yeah. So there's there's um, you can either choose from up to six pages, up to ten pages, or up to fifteen pages um, for for that. And um, basically, what what we what we do there is you'll get twenty percent off the total price um, if you go to that link. So that'll that'll basically for the next seventy two hours. So you go there and you go, yep, I want some web copy, and um, I'm just scrolling back to where I need to be, and you'll get twenty percent off that um, that total price. Now, in addition to that, we've got some really cool bonuses as well as that twenty percent for anyone because the most important thing right with anything that you do is making a really compelling and powerful offer um, so in addition to that if you do you'll get 20 percent off retail plus you'll get our contact hacking content hacking university which is something that you saw alexi and some of the results that he's getting um, that's valued at 497 dollars we'll send you logins to that you can go in there if you want to create content and get great results yeah, that's a, that is a, a really powerful program for doing it. You'll get my cash flow advertising manual, which is worth um, that that retails at 287. So you'll get that um, sent to you as well. And you'll get from Jace Webster, who's one of the basically leading joint venture experts in the country. He will set you up with a you know with a basically a, a joint with a with a partner. So someone you can joint venture with to actually do you know, to build a relationship with, you know, have them send out to your, you know, to their list or, you know, be featured in in something they do. But joint ventures is one of the powerful, particularly in these uncertain times, one of the most powerful ways to build your that sort of thing. So Jace will, will set that up. And lastly, um, you'll get a tailored approach to getting reviews in your industry. From my business, from my views, we did two hundred and ninety-seven dollars. Um, so there's literally, you know, you're going to save a significant, significant amount um, off the twenty percent off the off the retail price, and you'll get two thousand and seventy-eight dollars worth of worth of bonuses. We've actually got Scott Baker here. Scott, do you want to talk for thirty seconds just about your what you'll do in that in that review session? Yeah, I'm I'm pretty. Um... Are passionate about uh, language patterns and making sure that we're, like it can be a little bit squirmy when asking for reviews but if you can frame it the right way and use the right language pattern um, it can really make a big difference so part of the, the opportunity with me is I'll sit down and, and create some language patterns that match your industry and your specific request um, that you can use them either as a um, uh, in, in just in your discussions or you can use them in your in your text and email approach yeah, perfect, perfect, and um, yeah, Scott's a, a, an, an amazing guy, and yeah, his his clients just just rave about him. So um, yeah, thank, thanks, Scott. So um, yeah, so so that's that's um, 
that that's I, I guess we'll if we've got a do we have a few minutes for questions one or two questions Nick or how how close are we to time yeah look, we've got a uh, couple of minutes left so yeah yeah good as gold I'll just see if there's any that have been that I've missed Jeff said testimonials and reviews are a must yes absolutely um Dinner's ready for Ron, right here. Jeff, Facebook groups are very good. All these pages. Oh, so on the homepage, blocks. So, so we're, we're literally like, you're just adding a block to it in the homepage. So, um, you know, if, if you're putting your, a feature of your podcast on the homepage, that's like a block that goes there. And you want the things that you really want people to see, you want on your homepage, yeah, which is where the testimonials, the case studies, all of that sort of thing is really powerful to have there. And, and ultimately promise, proof, problem, proposition. You wanna hit on all of those four issues on the, on the homepage and then send people to where you want them, you know, where you really want them to go, essentially. So we got, love this idea to send a survey to client that says what are the main points so we can make. Yes, yeah, so, so if you send me an email to scott at scottbywater.com.au, um, I, I, I will get a survey template sent out to you um, so that you can, you know, basically um, use, the, yeah, use that as a, as I um, send that out. And then what that'll do, it'll tell you what the biggest problems of your clients are. And in almost every case, everyone thinks they, they know it, but in almost every case I've found they don't know it and they get literal insights. The other thing that it'll do for your web copy is you will start, you'll understand the way the language and you'll see patterns in the language and the ways that your customers actually respond to things. Um, and then you can start to use their language so you don't sound like a copywriter, um, you actually sound like yourself. Um, or you sound like them, sorry. You sound like they go, oh, finally someone gets me, which is what you really, really want as a, um, you know, as a response. Al said, okay, I agree fully. Thanks, Scott. Awesome content. We'll look out for that template and email from you. Yep, yeah, just send it to scott at scottbywinner.com.au. And I'll get that. Um, I'll get that template um, template across to you. All right. Any other questions? Oh, the, the four letter word. The four letter word. Ah, oh, almost forgot. See, it works. It works. <laughs> so, so the four letter word. Uh, does anyone want to have a guess of what of what it, of what it, what the four letter word could be? Feel free to feel free to have a guess. We got free. Nope. Not free, so hack, no. It's a really common word, very, very common word. It starts with a, <laughs> Jess got an interesting one there. Oh, Jane, hey, Jane, your, your, your is a powerful word, fear. Um, also a powerful word, just, Nick said. Uh, it's actually, it starts with a T and it ends with an S. It's a really common word, really common word. And the reason it works is exactly what I'm doing now. Tons. Nick said, ah, Mandy's got it. Mandy's got it. This. This. Kerry's got it. So this. So this is really powerful, right? Because like, I could say, I, could, I can show you, uh, or I can say something like, lifting weights will build you be better muscles in 30 days. Or I could say, doing this for 30 days will help you build muscles. And this is actually a powerful curiosity word. Because when you say this, it's like, oh, what is, what is this? What do I have to do? And then you've got to read the next line and the next line and the next line. You, you add this is, yeah, this is how you fix a broken computer. If you've got a broken computer, you want to know what the next line is, right? So that's, that's, that's really, really important and, really, yeah, and a really powerful thing to know. So um, yeah, congratulations! You you, um, you you got it sooner than most people do. Um, okay, what what was the Kerry? Can you just did you see the question from Kerry about the homepage? I must have missed that one. 
Uh, even if you want to speak it out, Kerry, and I can answer it very quickly. I think she was saying. I can we... speak, Mandy. It's okay. So as you were going through, Scott, you kept saying um, like a lot of content and everything seemed to be going onto the home page. And I said, this home page seems to be very busy or are they actually tabs? And yes. yeah. So, so there are examples of blocks, right, that you can add on your home page. So you don't have to add all of them. And I was sort of showing examples, like I might show three examples of like the opening and then three examples of this. So you could see different examples. Um, but no, you, you, you don't want it to be like, you know, to go on for like 30 pages, right, with all of those different, different things. So what I would be doing, I'd be putting the things that you really want people to see on the homepage and then have the other things on the on the tabs, right? So, and, and to understand that, you've got to go through your, understand your prospects sort of the way they buy and go, what do they want to know? What are they going to be interested in? Are they going to be interested in my testimonials? I've got to build proof. Let's put the testimonials. Like if you have a look at, let's say, James Schramko's super fast business or even webcopygurus.com, our website, have a look at the way they're structured and they're quite, you know, they're quite simple in terms of they're not um, too long, but they have the essential core things on the actual homepage. So what I would do is go back to them and that'll give you an example. And then they've got separate tabs for, you know, for other things, you know, for other things. But really important because it can be confusing. And that's why I wanted to give you lots of examples. So if you look at the structure of some of the pages, like afterwards that I've shown, and look at what they're doing and use them as like thought starters for yourself. So you go in and then and then map it out for yourself where you want everything. And then from there, that makes it, um, yeah, that, that makes it much, e yeah, much easier. Oh, thanks, Scott. Yeah, no, no, you're welcome. I've got another one on our new website. Still, food. We have the blogs at the bottom of the page. Is that advisable? That's why it was on the WordPress template we choose. Looks good, but we have made a mistake. Um, and have we made a mistake in putting it so far down? I mean, I, I don't think so. I, I mean, personally, and I, I, I wouldn't put the blogs at the top. Personally, you know, you want you want to go your headline, you want to direct them to really sales pages, get their opt-in, direct them to, you know, to, to, a, to a, let's say a services page where you want them to buy, something like that, have your proof elements. They're the things I would have at the top. Um, I probably wouldn't have the blogs, like, right, obviously a link to the blog is fine, but I wouldn't have them on the top of your homepage personally. Um, you can try it, you can test it. Um, you, you never know, but yeah, that that's that's what I think. Yeah, good stuff at the top. Um, Jane said blog posts are great for SEO. Bottom is better. Yep, no, that's good. Any other final or, or Nick? We're probably getting close to time, I imagine. I think we're there. So I'm just looking at the feed there. It looks like it's sort of uh, stopping. So, um, but uh, you, uh, are you available if uh, in some way, means or forms, if people want to talk to you further? Yeah, yeah. Now, if you want to talk to me further, just reach out to me at um, that's scott at scottbywater.com.au as well. And um, yeah, just just shoot me a shoot me an email and, and um, yeah, we can book in a time or if you've got any questions or whatever. Um, just yes, yeah, send it, send an email there is probably the the best bet. Awesome, excellent. All right, well, look, um, we we are getting towards the end, so uh, that was a uh, an awesome session. Me as a web developer, I am uh, having to look at my content now and rework it and redo it. But uh, you know, sort of in terms of uh, what we do as well, to absolutely sort of spot on in terms of structure and stuff. So uh, that's just added to it all. So. Um, so thanks very much for coming on tonight and sharing your uh, knowledge and wisdom. Let's everyone give him a big round of applause. Scott Bywater. There you go. That's a silent virtual applause. <laughs> <laughs> and we do have a draw tonight um, to give away. So what is it you've got there to uh, give away, Scott? Let's just, I've got my, uh, cash, my cash flow advertising manual. 
which is a um yeah it's a it's a 287 i think it's is it 287 215 pages i think it is all up and it basically walks you through step by step how to write a you know how to write an ad it'll help you with the web copy it'll help you with the facebook ads it'll help you with the social media posts all of that sort of thing in terms of like really detailed in terms of how to structure it there's examples in there of ads I've written, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, that, that's um, that's a giveaway. Excellent, excellent. And uh, anyone sort of uh, anyone not want that? <laughs> Hands up if that's going to be really helpful for you after tonight. Awesome. So we've got a special way of uh, drawing it, and uh, on your screen uh, we should have the uh, wheel of names. So everybody's name is uh, in this wheel of names. Remember the rule from the beginning that uh, you have to be here to win it. So uh, if you disappeared early, well, actually, you'll never know, will you? Unless you've got a friend that kindly tells you that uh, that you won it. So uh, all of your names are in here. So let's go now and spin the wheel. And drum roll, please. Come on around. And the lucky winner is Ron. Are you still here, Ron? I hope of course mic. I'm still here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> In fact, it was getting a bit frustrating because my glass of wine got empty halfway through that. <laughs> oh, well, you've, got, uh, you've now got something else to uh, read with your uh, glass of wine. So, uh, oh, look, thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. That was, that was a great win. Excellent. That's a superb win, really. So that's awesome. Okay. Uh, so, so will you send me the um Ron's uh address, Nick? Or well, we can shoot, you, yeah, you can drop it into chat, Ron, or uh Lorena will uh, shoot you uh through uh Ron's details as well too on um on email or messenger. Yeah, perfect. Excellent. All right. Well, look, that's sort of getting close to a uh, wrap tonight. So uh just to let you know, this session will be up on YouTube. Uh, tomorrow afternoon. Uh, so if you want to have a look at it again, there are bits that you missed and you want to catch up with it. Uh, best thing to do is to subscribe to the Smash Go YouTube channel. Uh, the link is in chat right now. Uh, and uh, when you do subscribe, there's a little bell beside the subscribe button, which will show up after you've subscribed. Hit that and that will then uh, trigger off a notification. Once the video is uploaded, you'll get a notification so you know it's there and uh, then you can uh, schedule to uh, go and watch it. Uh, next week's session is, um, uh, interesting enough, it's about surveys. So, um, uh, and I've got a great piece of uh, survey uh, software, which I'm going to run you through as well too. So I'm the speaker next week. We'll be talking about how you can use it, some of the surveys that you can use, some of the questionnaires you can use with it to really uh, drive up engagement, build your list, and um, uh, and to really sort of, uh, uh, you know, sort of get your uh, website, after all of the copy secrets today, uh, how to really sort of get it converting uh, really easily. So it's a, one of the simplest ways you can do it, and it really works. So that's, that's uh, next week. Uh, if you're not a member of Business Owners Smashing Online Facebook group, uh, go to go to Facebook, go and join the group. That's where we make uh, all of the announcements for these events and other things coming up. We share some of the online tools uh, and apps there uh, as well too. Um, but apart from that, let's give uh, Scott another huge round of applause. And uh, thank you everyone for uh, coming along tonight and uh, look forward to seeing you online and uh, seeing you next week.